We have three tiers. We have uh, content that we license in um, from the major networks, the film studios, the major leagues, uh, and the record labels. Um, we have content that we create uh, through our originals department, and then uh, we have user-generated content. So going back to the first category in terms of content that we're actually licensing in, we actually have um, two categories. So we have live streaming and then uh, on-demand content. In terms of live streaming, um, we're a partner with Major League Baseball, Advanced Media, and we're um, one of two places where you can access um, live games um, online. And uh, we also have a partnership with um, the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, um, where we are the exclusive place to um, watch MMA fights um, live online. And, and they're both kind of pay-per-view products. With Major League Baseball, you pay uh, about $80 for the year. Um, with uh, our UFC partnership, you actually purchase it on a one-off basis, so you, you, you purchase fight by fight. And it's, uh, I think, between $40 and $50 uh, per fight. Um, and then on the on-demand side, we have uh, highlights uh, across all major leagues, so Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL. Um, the only thing that we don't have right now is, uh, is NFL highlights. Um, we also have, obviously, on-demand music videos. Um, we have audio streaming through our partnership with Rhapsody. And um, just a nice assortment of, of, of on-demand content across, across all of the, uh, the Yahoo-owned and operated sites. Um, then, uh, on the original side, um, we produce a lot of our own original programming. We produce a show called Fantasy Football Live um, that airs every Sunday, um, 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Time to 1 p.m., right before kickoff. And it basically, if you're a fantasy user, it gives you the most up-to-date information on um, who you should sit, who you should start uh, in your fantasy lineup. We also produce a show called Prime Time and No Time, which is basically a recap of what's happened prime time um, on the previous night. We produce that five, five days a week, and that's actually um, getting close to about 100 million streams. And then on the user-generated content side, um, we've done a really nice job, I think, at blurring the lines between pure UGC and um, professionally created content and licensed content. So we, um, we uh, ran a contest online through Yahoo Music where we partnered with Shakira's record label and invited our users to um, submit um, their best version of the Shakira Hips Don't Lie video. And then we kind of mashed it up and put together our own video. Um, and it actually performed better than the Shakira video did itself. And it was the number one video on Yahoo Music for many months. Um, and then on the, uh, on the sports side, we, we also uh, created a competition around our premium fantasy product and invited users uh, to submit their best uh, end zone dance celebration. We partnered with Ch Chad Johnson, a Cincinnati Bengals um, wide receiver who's known for doing end zone dance celebrations. And then um, we narrowed it down to five users, uh, yeah, five submissions, and then asked our users um, to vote on the best video. And then we invited the winner to fly out to Cincinnati and, and teach Chad Johnson the dance, um, which went very well. And he actually proposed to his girlfriend during the uh, during the instruction uh, seminar. Um, so yeah, we've done a really nice job um, on the video side in terms of um, presenting the, the best video content to our users regardless of the source. Um, do you think that adding those professional elements to the user-generated content makes it more marketable? I do. I think it makes it more marketable. I think, I think it makes it more palatable to the advertiser. Um, it's easier to sell a sponsorship around content um, that, that has a professional element. For example, with the Shakira mashup contest, um, you know, we presented the video of, of the users, but the background audio was the actual secure content. So I think that was very appealing to the advertiser.